Bonjour, Kinemagi and Ireland and Dejnikas, and welcome to this production of the My Math Network. Today's topic, Chapter 11, Lesson 1, Hands-On, Measure with a Ruler. essential question today and how can I use measurement conversions to solve real world problems? Let's begin by looking at what your assignment will entail later on today. Find the length of a push pin to the nearest half inch or quarter inch. So telling you to line it up with one edge of the object if you measure using the middle of it it's probably not going to be very useful. All of a sudden, your, your one inch thing is six inches because you started at five. Um, and then we do have half inch, quarter inch, and it goes pretty far. And I'll show some examples here in a minute. Um, you'll notice that there's a small section you might have to cut out of your paper. And um, we will also have some rulers available in the classroom. Or if you already own one, cool, there you go. Um, then you'll actually be required to draw a line segment of those lengths, your vocabulary check. And if you remember, it always comes back to the highlighted words in the section and then a couple problem solving questions. Very clearly, um, this is going to be, numbers five and six will be difficult using Google Classroom. Uh, what I would recommend is for those two problems, you just take a picture of it with the ruler just a little below it so I can kind of line it up visually and just to post it there or send it to me via email if that's easier. All right, so let's go ahead and begin today's lesson. And we begin with a section called measure it. How ironic. You should have your packet open to page 801. If you need a ruler and you're not in the classroom, you could use your packet and cut out that little three inch ruler. And I do wanna talk about rulers for just a quick second. This is an online ruler. Um, I Googled for online rulers and this came up. Um, you're gonna notice that most rulers have a couple different measurements. Up top, the ones that are usually pretty close together and they go on a foot, one foot ruler, there's usually 30 of these, is the metric system, millimeters, centimeters. These little teeny, teeny, teeny lines are millimeters. There are 300 of them on a ruler. And you'll notice there are 10 for a centimeter. These bigger numbers here, there are 30 on your ruler. Those are centimeters. If I'm carrying around a meter stick, there would be 100 of these on it and 1,000 of these. Notice I'm starting to multiply by factors of 10. Um, that's the metric way. Inches, because we like to be confusing, use fractions. So the biggest numbers are going to be your whole numbers, your one inch. Then, if even if they don't label, your next tallest line will usually be right in the middle of each of the two inches, and that's a half inch. Then there will usually be a smaller line, yeah, a quarter inch. And then the next smallest one would be an eighth of an inch. So you see the eighth right here. And in some we'll have the 16th of an inch as well. I'll go ahead and bookmark this site while we're talking. It's useful there for me. Well, it has a lot of ads on it, so it probably will not be shared in your classroom because I don't know where the ads come from, but it is available in this video or if I need to talk to you about it. So if something started right here, well, we always start right on the zero when you measure something. So if it started there and it went to, let's say right here, I would say that it was three and a half inches long. 
if it went to right here and I was using metric, I would say it's eight centimeters long. Um, it, it appears today most of our work is using um, inches and fractions of an inch. Um, but we will be covering or may have already covered by this point in math enrichment, the metric side of this and being able to compare. All right, so the width of a button is the length of the widest part of the button. Find the width of the button to the nearest half inch and quarter inch. So step one is going to be to line it up with zero. Now we put a little mark where this ends right here. So for the nearest half inch, your options for half inch are right here. Here's your one inch, one and a half, and two inch. So we're counting by halves. And it looks like if it's right here, it's not quite to this side of that. So it's gonna be closest to one and a half inches. So let's move this forward. So you can write that in afterwards. To the nearest half inch, the button is one and a half inches wide. I'm just gonna let the answers come right on up for us. Make our life easier. Because it's closer to right here than it is to out here. To the nearest quarter inch, however, now I'm looking at the halves, three quarters, one quarter. It's definitely closer to here than it is here. So then it would be one and three quarters. Go ahead and write that down. All right, let's move forward here. Find the length of a paper clip to the nearest half inch and quarter inch. And it's, let's just get an answer here. Apparently, I will, and if you have a paper clip at home, you could have done this, but for the one we're doing, it's two inches or one and three quarters um, for those. But in the classroom, we will have to give you one. All right, so let's move forward here. How can you tell the difference between the half inch and quarter inch marks when measuring an object with a ruler? Very simple, again, just as a reminder, the half inch lines are gonna be taller than the quarter inch lines. The half inch lines are gonna be the second tallest beyond the whole inch lines. Do you ever have the same answer when measuring to the nearest half inch and measuring to the nearest quarter inch? Yeah, it's like two quarters is the same as one half. Which is the more precise? Now here's a word that we haven't used a lot of, it means the most accurate. And in this case, it's gonna be one and three quarters inches because it's more specific. It doesn't round, it's not rounding to, this could be rounded closer to one and a half inches, whereas one and three quarters is closer to where it really is. Generally, the larger your denominator is, the more specific your answer may be. All right, you're gonna use your own ruler here to do number four and five as a practice. And then we'll skip down to 10, 11, and 12. So go ahead and use the ruler to measure these two things on paper. Measure 
first to the closest half inch and then to the nearest quarter inch. Pause the video and then unpause it when you're ready. Go ahead and pause the video now. Welcome back. Let's see what we got here. Oops. Let's see if I can do this. I'm going to try it here. Of course, I'm assuming this, this is calibrated. Let's get the answers from yours. It's closest to one and a half and one and three quarters. So it's very similar to the size in our first example. This one is closer to, to both two and a half and two and a half. All right, it's, you're gonna have varying lengths for this. So it's gonna, your answer might be a little more specific. Um, If you were in the classroom, I'd probably have you measure a nearby book or your pencil. Your answers are going to vary there. All right, now draw a line segment. That means you're going to draw a line of a certain length. If I was doing one and a quarter inches, like the first one, I would draw a line starting at the zero, going past the one to right about here so that it made it from the zero where it is now to the right there. That would be my line segment. The word line segment means that it's a section of a line that doesn't keep going. So go ahead, pause the video, and let's see what you come up with. Welcome back. And they have some lines. Obviously on the paper, on the bigger screen, it's gonna be bigger than it really is. All right, at this point, I'm gonna give you a chance to practice. It is recommended that you complete the paper copy if at all possible, because that will be the easiest way. Although you could type your answers in a Google form, but numbers five and six, you will need to take an image and get me the image. Number seven, the vocabulary check will come from 801. It's gonna, the two highlighted words today were an inch is a unit of measurement and length is a measurement of distance between two points. And let's see which one applies. And then you have some problem solving to do. And it talks about most precise. So remember, it's gonna be the most detailed answer, the most accurate. If you have any further questions, please reach out to me at mireland at sidechipschool.net. Have a minute of Gijigat, Minwa, Pamapi.